Microbial ecology is inherently an interdisciplinary. We can't see the microbes that we work with a lot of the time. Only a small amount can be grown in the lab. So we have to rely on different tools to actually know what's there. So a lot of molecular biology tools are used like DNA sequencing and fluorescence techniques. I work on soil microbes. So I have to work with soil scientists from the ecosystem science and management department, along with plant scientists from the plant science department to do my work. My name is Kaylin Yates. I'm a PhD candidate in the ecology program in the Department of Plant Pathology and Environmental Microbiology um, in the lab of Dr. Terrence Bell. Microbes are constantly transferred to new soil environments by rain, wind, leaves falling to the ground, or just animals pooping. And when they enter these new environments, they're faced with new conditions and new competitor microbes that are probably better adapted to that environment since they've been there longer. The problem my work addresses is how do we improve the ability of microbes to live and grow in these new environments rather than immediately die or be outcompeted by other microbes. People in agriculture are beginning to move away from the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, which can have far-reaching negative effects on the ecosystem. So instead, they're turning to using microbes as a replacement. Soil microbes can help plants access nutrients in the soil, and they can act as a layer of defense against different pests. My work could help develop more effective and functional microbial products.